Garden's looking bonny, although the weather's a bit dull today. It's had thunder showers come through. So, basically, I thought it was time to take a new video of the pond. It's changed and improved as I've added bits over the years. You know what I'm like, I love to tinker with things and make, make things better. So, basically it's went from just a plain deck area to having a bird bath that is actually a skimmer. We've got just two goldfish in here. They seem to thrive if there's just two or... You know, when I had five in here, they, they, they seem to be a disease breakout every now and then, but they, they're a lot healthier now. We've got this marginal plant bed, which initially had a mixture of plants, but the irises have just swamped everything and taken over. But they're doing really bonny. They were unfortunately past, past the best of them, but they did have up to um, 13, 14 blooms at one time. Uh, there's only one left now. They've all the rest of them all turned to seed pods. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip this down <coughs> and uh, to get the top decking area painted. If I'm right in thinking, the top decking area was painted nearly ten years ago. So it's done not bad for that period of time. Anyway, so I'll, I'll switch on the video to let you see some of the mechanics that goes on under the bonnet. Right, so that's the part, pond part that's assembled. The uh, area that does all the pumping and maintenance is here. So this is the pump tank, because there's no pump in the bottom of this tank. It's actually just a pipe that leads up and into here. The water is then pumped out of here and through into the filter system, which is inside the shed here. Oh, it's locked, I won't bother opening it. Which is a rather oversized filter tank, but it does the job anyway. Then, what you have next is part of the water that's pumped to the filter is pumped through this tiny hose, which is now disconnected, which fed the marginal bed. And here's the hose for the marginal bed. I'll connect it up and you'll see what I'm saying when, when I say it. There you go, see? Pumps into two ends. The water goes in one end of the marginal bed goes along and drains into this line here which lands up going through and back into the tank. So that feeds water to the marginal bed. And this is the skimmer tank which is fed from a pump that's in the bottom of this tank. goes through this line here, this line here, all the way around to come up, where's it? Uh, to come up here in this area, feeds into this bird bath, as I say, and then trickles back through a short line and back into the tank, and that gives you your your skimming effect. Right. So that's the marginal planter out. That's the feed hoses. And the drainage hose is here, and the drainage siphon, if you want to call it that, is in there. One disappointing thing, once you go and get the green paint, and it's turned into green water. Bit of a disappointment, but then it's been sitting there for God knows how many years. Sitting in my shed for God knows how many years, so I'm not surprised it's off. Still, a new one costs about 12 quid, so I'll be going to DIY store to get some of that. Well, that's the first coat on the apron. The polythene's there to try and let it harden off overnight before I put the second coat on. Deck chairs are providing a convenient tent to keep the plastic away. Can't get it all totally covered, though. that's the only problem. Pain. Okay, cool. I'll show you this once I take the polythene off. I have to excuse the dull weather. It was fine up until about 10 minutes ago and then it died off. Anyway, so this is the pond now, all back together. Spruced up, looking good. So, uh, what can I tell you about, well, the shelf is, has been modified now. You can see there's bubbles coming out. That's because what I've done is I've put little 
ways of connecting the hoses that come from the marginal water bed, the marginal plant bed, and the skimmer, or the bird bath, which is the skimmer. Anyway, so there's bubbles again, there's more bubbles, and that's pretty, there we go, pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, so we're going under the bonnet. What we have is a skimmer tank, there's actually a tank here and another tank hidden underneath here. These are actually empty cornflakes Tupperware boxes. So there's two of them tied together to get some volume going. Uh, in here should be... Oh crap, where did the filter go? Mm. Oh, almost a bloody filter. Uh, oh, here it is. Filter sits in here like so. You recognise that all this is made from plastic bits and bobs salvaged from the recycling bin and stuff. So that's the overflow with a filter for the overflow. Uh, as I say, so the the water from the over the water from the overflow. Sorry, the overflow tank. There's a pump in the bottom. A small, quid, tiny little pump in the bottom. Quick, quick. I'll show you quickly if I can. There you go. See it? It's just one of those tiny little indoor fountain ones. Yeah, so that goes quickly put together. Come on, Panda. That goes through this garden hose here which gets then then gets reduced down to a smaller hose which comes in through here. And then the overflow goes out of here and comes down and goes into the pond there. And then the cycle continues. This bird bath actually has been quite popular with the local sparrows and uh, starlings. Sometimes get, there's a blackbird, sometimes you get in here. By the time he's finished, the blooming thing's near empty. Right, okay, so that's one circuit. Oh, I forgot to say. There's a second circuit. In other, because this to stop this tank going stale, because it's joined to here. There's a small line been teed in here. You can see there goes all the way to here. Now I did want to put it straight into there, and I thought, you know something, I want to make sure that that flow goes to wherever it's supposed to go. So it comes up into here overflows into there and then goes into the tank below. So you've got another little tiny sort of like water feature thing of sorts going on here. Right, that's that. Now, water for the marginal plant tank is very simple. We've got the pump tank as I call it here, because there's no pump in the bottom of this uh, tank. There's a line comes from the bottom of there through the side of the tank there through here into this T piece and into this marginal tank. Uh, the pump sits here, it pumps water th through to the filter inside my garden shed. So I've got a really big uh, pond filter in there. And then there's a smaller line comes off. And as you can see, it's a really small line. It goes into the end of the marginal bed here at the, at the top. The water flows along to the other side where it goes into this little, uh, that's a uh, small uh, drinking water bottle that's had the bottom torn off it. Anyway, the bottom of that, as you can see, there's a standing tube there. And that job keep that's its job's to keep the level about right. If it gets blocked if it gets blocked a bit then the level obviously will rise but then the head of water will push it down and eventually clear the pipe so it keeps itself pretty clean and pretty clear. These get covered with stones. Just to make it all look pretty. I mean, at one point, with 13 iris blooms 
going. I'll maybe try and attach a picture at the end of the video to show that. Yeah. As you know from the previous videos, the circuit for the main filtration system goes from here, from the pump. That's a that's a tank level bypass. From there into the shed, fills up the fills up the filter tank in the shed, then gravity fed down through here, underneath, back and up through a pipe which comes into here. Then as you can see, that goes there. That comes then flows through this bubble pipe as I uh, bub bubble inducing pipe. Uh, just to give it a bit of feature. In case you're wondering, this weird bit of plumbing here is an overflow line. It's designed so that if the tank, if for some reason uh, this line gets blocked up by snails, uh, which has been a problem for a while because I had ram's horns and snails in here for a while and they infested everything. If that gets full, then obviously this tank gets full and it could overflow into the shed. So what this is, is, is a siphon line. The idea is, is once this gets water, at, uh, once this pipe fills with water, it will start a really strong suction and it will suck everything dry before it's got a chance to overflow. Of course the suction goes straight back into here underneath somewhere, I can't remember exactly where, but there's a pipe goes into the, the tank so just and it's 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 hardly ever needed since uh, the ram's horns have died back but for a while there I was forever getting water uh, float, pot flowing out into the shed it was really bad, real big problem for a while anyway, so I think that covers all of it for now Really good. Hey, we couldn't get the sun out, that would be nice. Never mind. There we go.